Welcome back to Vlogtober, everybody. It is October 5th, so that means it's day, fla day, day, five, day five of vlogging. And it is 9 o'clock, 9.01 to be exact. Um, earlier than last night. Yes, it is earlier than last night. So I, uh, I uh, am doing a little better, but it's so hard because I work and I go to school and it's just really hard because I can't vlog during those times. So it's, this is, this is a struggle, a struggle for me, but, um, yeah, I basically, I worked today and, uh, I just got back from a student leadership meeting. Um, I'm one of the student leaders on campus, so we had an hour and a half meeting tonight. I started a little bit of homework earlier, but I didn't get a lot done, so I'm needing to work on it now because it's too I have I have a 14 source annotated bibliography due at 11:55 and it took me an hour for the first source. Um so I don't think it'll actually take me that long for the rest of them because I had I didn't quite understand what our professor was looking for in this source so hopefully I have a little bit of a better understanding now so yeah I have to do that tonight so I'm probably not gonna be doing much else than homework so Courtney's offered to let us read a I what I had to do it for class. she had to write a fictional story for class and she claims that it's a, a creepy story so I figure it's kind of around Halloween so we can do creepy stories right also has anybody heard about the whole uh, clown issue that's been uh, happening around the country apparently cuz uh, I heard about it from a friend who posted on my face, or not on my Facebook page, but it was on my feed, and someone posted about a clown, a guy dressed as a clown, uh, like the it clown, standing on the side of the road, and, like, I figure, oh, someone's just being, like, trying to play a joke on people, like, trying to just scare people, but the more I've, like, like, I just keep hearing more about it, and I guess, like, they are actually threatening to hurt people and like they're luring children into the woods so that's kind of creepy um so for those of you who are living in one of those areas where the clowns are which apparently they've just reached Reading, so that's cool but be safe for all of you guys when you're out especially at night try not to be alone um, use the buddy system, uh, you know, typical safety things, try not to be on your phone, um, like, just be aware of your surroundings and be, be cautious. <laughs> um, yeah, so just be, be safe out there, y'all, especially on Halloween, dude, I don't even know that I am gonna want to go out on Halloween because... I ain't about that. <laughs> okay, so this is a really good story, so I'm gonna read it to you, and I'm gonna try not to, uh, I'm trying, gonna try not to botch it. I watch as the door swings closed, taking my hope with it. The click of the door locks me in. I can't stand to be alone anymore. The isolation, the quiet, it's driving me mad. I begrudgingly walk to the closet wall and use my upper arm to slip down to the plush carpeting. I bring my knees to my chest, hoping to provide some kind of comfort, but none comes. I examine the room and see a white twin bed in the corner, the only furniture in the small room. I glance back to the door, or where I assume the door is. It's hard to tell. The only distinguishing factor is the small window. I can't stay here anymore. I sigh and use my elbow to help me stand. I waddle to the window, hoping the men in the white coats will hear my cries. Please let me out. There must have been some kind of mistake. I plead to the darkness. No one is coming. 
a voice in the room breaks my cries. You're wrong! I try to ignore the voice and call again, straining to see the dimly lit hallway. Let me out! No one is coming for you, the voice states, and this time I look, but it's too dark to see where it's coming from. This time might be different, I meekly respond. You know I'm right, the voice states. I'm always right. Shut up! Shut up, I scream, in what I hope is in his general direction. I place my attention back to this tiny slit in the door. All I see is the white walls of the hallway. Please, I don't belong here, I call into nothing. Something cold and clammy touches my shoulder. I jerk away at the touch and fall to the ground. You hurt? No, I say. It's impossible. The carpeting is too soft to cause any harm. I look at the source of the voice. He's a big man wearing a simple white shirt and pants. His eyes are pale and bloodshot. His hair is a matted mess. His hand reaches out for me. Don't touch me, I screech. Stay away from me. My bare feet dig into the soft ground as I try to scurry away from the man's touch. Now you think you're better than me? The man states. We're the same, you and me. You're wrong. Someone will come for me, I say, reassuring myself. I don't belong here. No one's coming for us, he says. You knew that the minute the door locked behind you. We're stuck here. He's right. You're wrong, I shake my head. You don't know me. Don't I? He asks, switching tactics. I look at his weathered face. I can't place it, but I feel like I've seen him before. There's one too many creases in his forehead now, but I feel like I know him. Maybe we played together back when I was a boy in grade school? I'm not sure, but I know I don't want to answer his question. Screams in the distance provide me with a distraction. A commotion is going on outside the door. I see shadowy figures run past my window. I bolt upright, but tumble back down, my hands unable to stop me from hitting my face. Give up, the man says. No one cares for you. You're all alone. He stares at my pathetic body lying on the white ground. You're wrong. I roll onto my back. He stands over me and looks into my eyes. I am your only friend. False. I try to ignore his presence and stare at the wall in front of me. No one wants you. You're wrong. You're a waste of space. Leave me alone. It's just you and me. Why don't we just hit, sit here in silence? I interrupt and stare at the walls. I thought you didn't like silence. I didn't respond and stare straight ahead. He comes to sit beside me. I hate the color white. I nod my head in agreement while I listen to the screams in the distance. <laughs> That was pretty good. I like that. Good story, Court. So there's a little uh, Halloween spooky ambiance for you. Um, I did my best to do it justice. <laughs> but yeah, so that'll probably be it for tonight. I got to get back to work on homework because I don't have much longer before my assignment is due. So we will call that a night and I will see you tomorrow for the next vlog. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.